The European Union Foreign Affairs Council that met in Brussels a few days ago welcomed the United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken via video conference for their first exchange of views since President Joe Biden's administration took office. In the opinion of the Portuguese Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Augusto Santos Silva, the meeting exceeded all expectations, considering the convergence of positions that was seen. He highlighted the absolutely crystal clear way the US administration said, we are back, meaning that multilateralism, the most important global agendas and relations between the EU and the USA are once again among the priorities the new administration's foreign policy is based on. Relations between the EU and Russia were also on the table. Following the acts of hostility recently adopted by Russia against the EU, explained Minister Santos Silva. The Council gave its political agreement to initiating the process that would lead to sanctions aimed at certain Russian officials for human rights violations, particularly in connection with the jailing of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. This process will be one of the first cases of applying the new global sanctions regime for gross human rights violations, which the Council approved in December. I made a video on that one. Apart from Russia, the Myanmar coup was also analyzed. The Council decided to initiate proceedings to prepare specific sanctions aimed at the military leaders who directed the coup. The ministers also appealed for the unconditional release of State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi. The list of sanctions was also extended to the group of Venezuelan officials targeted by the EU's restrictive measures due to gross human rights violations and the restriction of fundamental freedoms in Venezuela. Today, no, a few days ago, the Ministers for European Affairs moved forward with a number of dossiers on the European agenda during their informal meeting, which included discussing and exchanging views on the future of European democracy, relations with the United Kingdom and the Conference on the Future of Europe. The meeting was chaired from Lisbon by the Portuguese Secretary of State for European Affairs, Ana Paula Zacarias, and one of the most important items on the agenda was the preparation for the video conference of the members of the European Council, which was held on uh, February 25th and 26th. The Ministers for European Affairs reviewed the agenda for the video conference of the EU Heads of State and those of government at the end of this week, which will be focusing on an analysis of the current situation and the responses to the COVID-19 pandemic, including future challenges in the health area. Also on the agenda was a discussion on security and defense, including subjects like cyber attacks and hybrid threats, as well as a debate with the Secretary General of NATO. Finally, the leaders had a strategic discussion on relations between the EU and its southern neighborhood. The meeting continued with the first debate on the European Democracy Action Plan presented by the European Commission last December. All member states have already agreed to move forward with its implementation immediately. As the representative of the Presidency of the Council of the EU, Anna Paula Zakarias then summed up the position on the Conference of the Future of Europe and called for preparations to be completed in order to allow the conference to go ahead. Finally, she reported on relations between the EU and the United Kingdom. And this was the first discussion since the trade and cooperation agreement was reached on December 24th. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel and to my other channels. I'll see you on my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.